Well, students in Vermont's capital city will see a new school resource officer at the end of the school year. Local 22's Spencer Conlin spoke with the outgoing and incoming SRO. Hi, Spencer. Hey there, Lauren. This is more of a change in watch, if you will, for all three of Montpelier's schools, and it's a phase people in the community are already familiar with. They're responsible for safety and crime prevention in schools. It's a bridge between kind of the police department and the students in the community. Corporal Matt Nisley is Montpelier's school resource officer, a post he's held for seven years. You're working with students and their parents and their families to help them be successful and, and help them grow to be productive members of our society. School security has been scrutinized across the country after a number of school shootings, most notably at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, and Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. But it's certainly not the, the paramount reason you're there. You know, we're certainly not um, school security guards by any means, but it is a, an advantage to the schools to have somebody there who's trained and, and able to deal with a threat if it were to arise. In January, Nisley will be handing off his duties to a colleague. And it would be great to be able to be that first person that they interact with in law enforcement. Montpelier's new SRO is no stranger to the community. Diane Matthews has been with the department for three years. The first year I was here, I spoke with the current SRO, Matt Nisley, and asked him some questions about it. Matthews says it's a new challenge she's looking forward to taking on. Continuing the community outreach that I currently do on a different scale with the three different schools in our district. As for Nisley, he says the positiveness is what he'll miss most. 99% of your your interactions with people are positive. Um, it's, uh, you know, a, a high and a high five to an elementary school kid handing out a sticker. Now the official switch will take place in January. Corporal Nisley will be staying with the department doing some more detective work. Meanwhile, Vermont's Department of Public Safety is accepting grant applications to help ensure schools are safe across the state. One and a half million dollars will allow Vermont schools to buy enhancements to existing security systems as well as newer technology. Schools around the state can apply for grants up to uh, $25,000, excuse me, to equip facilities with indoor and outdoor locks, public address systems, and other safety tools. Each school will be responsible for a 25% grant match. Lauren, we'll send things back to you.